Also tells me it'll be a little bit earlier, so I'm adding in about a month. Okay, 14 and 15, and yep. where the model is purple? 18. 18's the model, yep. okay. And February, January time frame yep. for 14, 15. And this is what we got, and then I'm gonna see if I can look at something that matches these. Okay, guys, I'm in Crystal View, and um, it's a very pretty community. I am certain you can't see it, but through the trees there is blue water. Uh, that's all water. And then very faintly today, uh, Mount Rainier is in uh, this zone right here. Um, if I had a better camera on my phone, you might be able to see it, but that's Mount Rainier. Um, this neighborhood is walking distance for some, not certainly for everybody, to uh, the schools. So this road is Sunrise Ridge, and there's just a little hump on the road right there. That goes into a neighborhood that was called um, Meredith Heights. So you cross through Meredith Heights to get to Crystal View. And just on the other side of Meredith Heights um, is the elementary school soccer field. You can cut down, there's a neighborhood down below us here called Deer Run. Um, but right by the soccer field is the elementary school. The other side of the soccer field is the uh, junior high. And then across the street from the junior high is the high school. And um, the neighborhood has been super popular. They had a lot of work to do to the land to make it work because of the hill. And so it took a long while to get the plat with a final approval. And I just want you to kind of see the layout. Um, the houses are not right up on top of each other. They, you know, they're closer because we're close into town. So they're a little closer but they're certainly not as close as the development we looked at in Port Orchard. Um, everything that they've released already is sold. Most of those are sold and closed. And this is lot 18. So lot uh, 14 and 15 are down this hill. And this floor plan is the model. Um, it's the same as this one across the street. So while you can't tell because it's a model home, the middle bay right now is being used as an office. So it will be a three car garage. And that's being built on lot 15, if I'm not mistaken. This builder will um, landscape the front yard. And I believe the backyard is just um, hydro seed. But I'll confirm that with the listing agent. This is Lundgren Homes. Really a very, very quality built home. So again, I can certainly walk into where the office is, but you have the idea that it's a three car garage. So a single door and then this will be a double door, just like this one across the street. Okay, just to give you an idea, uh, it is a covered entryway front patio. Got these unusually tall doors. Um, of course, it's all uh, hardy siding. Um, we can certainly find out the color scheme, but just to give you an idea of the um, quality of the materials. So this floor plan, enter and first room we come to is a bedroom with an ensuite. So it's a main floor bedroom. Of course, it can be used as a den, but it's a really great spot to have a guest room. And it certainly functions as a master because of the ensuite. And also the room size itself is quite generous. All right. Passing the entryway. Got your powder room. Under stair storage closet, crawl space hatch. Just a super terrific floor plan. Ginormous kitchen. Uh, 
Um, there's certainly some upgrades here, so we'll just have the agent send us um, what are the standards. But the footprint of the kitchen uh, will be, you know, what you see here. So this door will be to the garage. So you have the mudroom and then a very, very generous pantry space. Um, this is considered a home work space. So it's like a little pocket office. I've had clients consider this a um, butler's pantry. So they might put in a wine refrigerator or something like that. And you can see cupboard patio in the back. Of course, the lock configuration may be completely different, but this gives you a general idea. And then a very, very spacious great room. I know you've seen the online tours, so not a whole lot different, but maybe different comments. Right up we go. The stair lights, which is nice. Really pretty railing system with the wrought iron. Top of the stairs is a gigantic loft space. And you have your master. Um, the accent walls are custom. Of course, that's something you could do. This is a queen size bed, so you get an idea of all the territory you have in here. Tons of space for endless amounts of furniture. Um, the slipper tub is an option. I don't know what option is in that house. So again, we'll get that from the builder. Beautiful lighting package. Huge zero radius glass doors. Linen. Um, very lightly appointed closet. To me, I would probably go ahead and have a uh, big closet system installed like California closets or something like that. Right down the hallway. So I have a deep linen closet, so plenty of room for vacuum cleaners or ironing boards. Upstairs laundry, so your hookups here. Sinks and technology there. Another very, very spacious bedroom. Easily a king size headboard could fit on that wall. Wardrobe closet. This is a queen, and you can see there's a decent bit of room on either side of the room. And this has a walk-in closet. Furnace closet, so it's easy to access for your service providers. Shared bathroom. Quartz counters, tasteful lighting, deep tub, tub and shower combo. And then finally, the last bedroom. Granted, this is a twin, but you can see there's probably four feet on either side of the bed, three feet, three and a half feet. Another very generous walk-in closet. 